What's up, everybody? I'm David Hain. Welcome to episode 111 of the A to D from Attic to Disciple podcast. I really appreciate you guys listening, and I appreciate when you like, subscribe, follow, and share the link with your friends. If you'd like to, please click on the support link in this episode's description. Your donation of any amount could change a life. If you'd like to get our curriculum, you can get the paperback or ebook of From Ashes to Destiny on Amazon. When we come back, we'll get into this episode entitled, Stay Safe and Stay Strong. Welcome back to episode 111 of the A to D From Attic to Disciple podcast entitled, Stay Safe and Stay Strong. You may recognize that phrase as I end every podcast with that phrase, stay safe and stay strong. And actually, this podcast episode is in response to your comments and questions. I've had numerous listeners say to me, David, what do you really mean, stay safe and stay strong? Like, how do I do that? It's a nice phrase, but how do I put it into use? So I figured let's look at it today. So first, let's look at stay safe. What does that mean? I guess historically, you know, it's a term that people use as a friendly goodbye or farewell, just saying, you know, be careful, um, try not to get into any trouble, you know, stay safe, buddy. But what does it really mean? It means out of genuine concern, I'm saying do what you can to be free from harm or risk, like stay unhurt. I hope you're secure from threat or danger. I hope that that you can really put yourself in positions where you're safe and that when you find yourself in unsafe places that you can be strong. And that's that's really genuine concern. So to look at this deeper, I figured, well, let's go to see what Oxford Clinical Psychology says about it. And they have an outline for how do we make safe decisions. And it's broken down like this. The first step they say is consider all of your options. So keep in mind that whenever we have a choice to make, whenever we have a decision to make, there's more than one or two options. There's probably three or a half dozen in every situation. So take the time to pause and think about all of your options. And as you're doing that, think ahead to the possible outcomes of each option. Oxford reminds us to think about what are the positive consequences that you would anticipate with each of your choices and What are the negative consequences that you can anticipate as you're making your choices? And only when you look at both the positive and negative consequences, then you're ready to choose the safest option. And that would be the option that would minimize your risk of relapse. So even if you decide to choose a risky option, plan on how to protect yourself while you're in that high-risk situation so that you don't relapse. You got it? So to me, it's how can you make safe choices every day, all day? And I think the takeaway from what Oxford said is really make choices with a long view. Remember that the easiest choice is often the one that is the least safe in the long run. So even if today's choice looks like an uphill battle, just to get to that safe, long-term positive consequence, make that choice anyway. And I'm reminded of a song by Miley Cyrus entitled The Climb. Listen to some of the lyrics. It says, there's always going to be another mountain. I'm always going to want to make it move. Always going to be an uphill battle. 
sometimes I'm going to have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. The struggles I'm facing, the chances I'm taking, sometimes might knock me down. But no, I'm not breaking. Can you hear that? Even in the midst of tough decisions and tough choices, even when it looks like an uphill battle, know that you're not going to let it knock you down because you've considered all the consequences and you're going with the one that makes sense. Because small, unsafe choices actually make us weak over time. And small, safe choices each day make us stronger. And a perfect example of that happened just as I was writing this episode and getting ready to record it today. A friend in South Africa sent me a WhatsApp which simply said, 15 days clean, I'm staying strong. Can you hear it? I'm strong. Sure, just 15 days clean, but I'm strong. So what does it mean to stay strong? Well, stay strong means remain strong. That's like synonyms. Both verbs stay and remain are not changing. So when you say to someone, stay strong, you're actually saying, I'd like you to continue being strong. And I'm here to be an encourager. I'm here to, to say that you're doing well so far and well done. And I hope that you remain in strength. And to stay strong means not giving in to the temptations that arise every day. Recognizing the things that haunt you almost like demons that would pull you down and being able to push past them, even when it's hard to do so. Staying strong is also realizing that frustrations and disappointment will pop up in the middle of a good day trying to knock us down. Storms will come, but we need to simply see the storm as a storm. It will pass. We can either mope around and get soaked by the rain, or we can learn to dance in the rain. Yep, another song. The song by Jana Kramer entitled Dance in the Rain. Listen to these lyrics. Never thought that I'd find myself lost in this place, caught in a storm that my broken heart just can't escape. I close my eyes and soak it in and dance. I cry. I'll set these tears free in the wind and dance in the rain. Let it wash away the pain. There's nothing to say and nothing to do, but try to be brave and learn how to dance in the rain. Shaw, strong wisdom in that song. Can you allow the storm, can you allow the rain to set your tears free with its wind? Can you let the rain wash away your pain and just dance? Can you know that it's, it's just a storm that's come into a good day, a good season, and a time when you're moving forward? So that's really the game plan for stay safe and stay strong. Two simple things. First, Make safe choices, big and small, weigh your options before deciding, and consider the consequences of every choice. Make that a routine in your life. Don't make choices without taking that moment to pause and reflect and say, I want to make the safe choice. And then second, know that storms are going to come to test your strength. Know that as you continue to make safe choices, you're getting stronger. But the storms will come to test your strength. So learn to dance in the storm. In closing, know that your choices have brought you to this place. And your choices 
will allow you to ride above the storms of life. Listen to these lyrics by Callum Scott from his song Rise and get strength from them. I've been staring at the coastline, thinking of every choice I've made to lead me here right now, standing on solid ground, and I've been hiding in the shadows, wondering if I'm on the right road, some place I've never been. Is this how it all begins? Uh-oh, cause I've got my best suit on and I'm ready. I've got my sleeves rolled up and I'll be on my way while my heart's thumping boom, 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 boom. You're going to see me rise. Oh, and rise, rise, rise. Are you ready to stand on that coastline and realizing that as you're thinking of every choice you made, you know, it's led you to that coastline and it's your time to rise. Thanks for listening to this episode of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast. If you would like to join an online group or get one-on-one counseling to help you stay safe and stay strong, please message me on the link in this podcast or by email at david from a to d at gmail.com or go to my website www.fromatod.org and click on the contact page. You can also keep in touch with what we're doing in From A to D by following me on Instagram at David from A to D. Tune in Monday for our next episode. And as always, stay safe and stay strong.